Here's a strategy from Zillow. What they're doing is they are screenshotting consumers, you know, their, their Zestimate, right? Like the picture of their home on Zillow. They're screenshotting it with the Zestimate that is always wrong. Shout out to Zillow. I love you guys, but always wrong. And right away, they're sending the screenshot along with a text saying something like, hey, so-and-so, if I offered you more than 15% above what your Zestimate would be, would you sell? Or, hey, we saw that this is your Zestimate, but in reality, Zillow has it wrong. Here's the proper number. Would you like more information on what the real value really is? Because everybody wants to know, baby boomer or silent generation, right? So 90 years old to 20 years old or vice versa. Everyone wants to know how much equity they're sitting on. That's majority of their money. Uh, another example here from Jimmy Mackin, and this has been absolutely crushing. The subject line of this email, again, screenshot to email now, is name your price. Hi, Jimmy. Could you finish this sentence for me? If I could sell my house for blank, like, would you list your home this fall? If I could get you blank, would you sell? Or in, in what world, you know, would a number make sense for you to sell? And everybody says some crazy number, but still having conversations, still getting information. And when that time comes, there you go. That's a guaranteed response for an email. That's brilliant by Jimmy Mack. And, and then also, yeah. I like the fact of sending this estimate to the clients as opposed to them looking it up on their own, which we know they're 100% doing. So mm -hmm. that's super proactive. I love both those tactics. If I were to give you $1.1 $1 .1 million, would you put your house on the market? Probably, right? 38% of Americans right now are living with no mortgage. 38% no mortgage. That means that they could probably downsize. They could probably go down south. They could probably go, well, for me, go down south, right? They could probably move. 38%. The amount of people that are in the silent generation, right? The 70s, 75, 80 years old, they maybe want to go down to a condo. We should be reaching out to all of those people. The people that bought in 2018, 2019 that are sitting on $200,000, $300,000 worth of equity, those are the people that we should be reaching out to because 72% of them were either unhappy with their purchase or their agent, or they were unhappy with the fact that they had to settle for a smaller house, a different school district, whatever it may be. So now is the best time to get creative. 